he walks up to me and he stops at our table and he's looking down at me and he's looking like he's trying to figure out who I am. I look up at him and I, I'm pretty sure he said like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good, sir. He goes, aren't you my eye doctor? Oh, no, no. 100%. And I was like, good to see you. Guess I need to get you a new prescription. You might need to come back and see me there, sir. I was, I was like, I was like, well, if you can't tell I'm your eye doctor, you need to come back and see me on Tuesday. We gotta get you back in there, Billy. <laughs> you didn't say I'm that. gonna get Nancy to set up an appointment with you. What did we, you say? It was Wednesday at four thirty. Work for you. To the Coffee and Ketchup Podcast. Your brother was looking at me really weird while I was doing the intro. I flipped him off before you started. I oh, did you? Yes, he might have, have to just keep that he in. Might have been let, looking. The, let the viewers see the real side of what goes on before that <laughs> camera starts rolling. <laughs> oh. The brotherly love. Yeah, yeah. Welcome everybody to episode 54. 54. I said a year and somehow we've been here longer. Uh, we appreciate everybody clicking on it and joining in today. Um... Thanks for all the success and all the um, wonderful things we've gotten uh, for our last video. It was a lot of fun to do, and y'all really seem to enjoy it. Been commenting and liking and watching, and we really appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you will enjoy this episode as well. Uh, bear with us as we try to figure out what this episode is going to be about, because sometimes it'd be like that. Um, now, you're going to have to let me in. We're feeling this. The day that 53 drops, do you want to take some time to just is, – is the drawing still going to be a thing at this point in time or is this going to be – over with. So this will be over with mm -hmm. at this point in time. Um, has somebody been drawn at this point in time? Yeah. Congratulations, winner. Congratulations to the um, lucky winner of the $50 Chick-fil-A gift certificate um, for liking and sharing and then commenting on our YouTube page for our one-year anniversary episode with our – Wives and girlfriends. Yeah. So, Can spouses win? There's no 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 rules. Okay, so it's in the official rules here. Um, is this how you do them at the radio station? Like the official rules and giveaways kinda, and stuff kinda, like that? Yeah, yeah. So in the official so if I, I can just pretend to pull Shelly's name. No, that's not gonna happen because oh, you're not gonna be the one pulling. Uh but yeah, girlfriends and spouses can oh, definitely gonna, win. You're gonna be keeping that fifty <laughs> of course. <laughs> I gotta recoup my lose losing. <laughs> Coming back for that, for that Starbucks. Yeah, I was. I guess we need to split hairs. We need to go ahead and split hairs with the fact that that you cheated. That we had eighteen. And some residual 18. beef from no, last episode. No, 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 no. no there no. were eighteen episodes with the guests. No, that's not how the question was formed. How many guests have we had on the shows? That's correct. No, I don't know why you're making it like weirdly plural. I believe the exact question was how many guests have we had on? It was exactly the way it was formed. 18. 17. We've had 18 on. We have had 18 episodes with guests. That is correct. We have had 17 different guests. Well, just for the record, I was counting Carl two times. I know you were. So that's, that's why it was 18. No, nah, it's not. Okay. If y'all want to play that way. I was way off. I don't of care. Of course, y'all used to work together. Of course, y'all going to stand beside each other. <laughs> y all, y all we're used to brothers. Live together, you know what I mean? Just because we're blood. You've known him a whole lot longer than I have. He kicks that to the, to the curb real quick, doesn't he? You got the Starbucks. Oh, my God. I threw you the Starbucks. <laughs> Definitely threw the game. Oh, no. You didn't throw it. Beach is beach. It was just Listen, like, if we, you could go anywhere in the world some for no money, where would you Money's go? Money's not an option. Derek's like, the earth. The earth. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I just the most generic thing you could ever. Mm, I think we'd go somewhere on, on the planet on Earth, Earth, please. Planet Earth for one hundred, Alex. Somewhere that you can stand. Uh, is that, I think we'd do that. Actually, is there air there? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, we love to go to those places with gravity, Brian. 
they're really nice this time of year. That's actually funny you ask this, Rich, because last week I was just telling JJ I would like to go somewhere where there's air and the sky is above us and there's ground underneath our feet. Fantastic. I mean, listen. So so ironic you asked this question. <laughs> what are the odds? What was it? Was that one in the movie? The movies or something like that? The movies. That's when we laughed so hard. That's what I thought. This is what you thought. Yeah. That's what you thought. Yeah, Chris was just ready to get to the basketball game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Chris was ready to get – we won. It's on, it's on video. Yeah, it's it on is, audio. Yeah, it is. Nobody's debating. So, no, nobody's so trying to take that from you. So, right. so I'm going to – I guess I'll jump out here. And surprise us all with some material. I guess. <laughs> That's a back. wonderful background, man. I like that. Congratulations, If you look at man. it, too, it, it makes it his, – his, when you first look at it like that, hold on, like this, his shirt blows, too. See it ripple. Oh, you wow. got the moving, the moving picture? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Live. Wow. Anyway. Isn't technology grand? Congratulations on your two successful children. Yes, thank you. I'm glad they both you, you did a good job school, there. Thank you. You did yes, a good job you. there. I appreciate that. You did two things right. So, <clears throat> I'm at <laughs> it's tricks is It's so, a good mug. <laughs> so, it makes you feel rich, you know what I mean? Batman, love it. So, yeah. I'm at I'm at Home Depot. This is about oh. You finna pull out your ID badge. Listen, I thought he was going to call him again. <laughs> Y'all want to make jokes about it. I don't know how to, like, fix stuff and all like that. Have you, have you got an official card? What's that say, Chris? It says that you're a uh, card member. Sent for how long, Chris? For 2020. <laughs> it's the Home Depot. It is. It's the Home Depot <laughs> credit card, which simply proves we're he has where decent credit. Where, <laughs> where building matters, I think, is our yeah. slogan. Where he building things hungry? matters. Yeah. Isn't that what? <laughs> I don't. Come down to the Home Depot. I don't, you're the one there all the time, Where Brian. Yeah, building Brian. things You're matter. the one going there all the time buying lumber and Only stuff. Only when I have to because I can't get in and out of there no more. This ain't no doggone fast drive through. So, I've, I've, I've gotten in my vehicle. This this happened weeks ago when we we talked. Y'all, you said, y'all both agreed that I needed to stay in my lane and leave people alone God, and not try yeah. to talk to So, you to started people. getting groceries at Home Depot? <laughs> no. This is good, though. I get in the truck, and I said, man, she looks familiar. It looked like a person I went to high school with, his mother. So we're going way back. And she's about well, she never she's about <laughs> eight car, She's about eight parking places away from me. She's loading stuff up in the back of her SUV. You thought this was someone that you went to high school with's mother. mother. Yes. So she, she was in one of the little buggies. You know what I mean? Of little course. hover around buggies. Yeah. Because she got to be pushing about 102 at this point to be a mother of, of uh, your high school. That's, that's just wrong. There. That's just wrong. Listen, I'm just saying. You said so, you're loading up an SUV. I'd love so, to see it. You get video of that like you did that other guy? So I had... No, I didn't get video. <laughs> so I rolled the window down and I said, I've got to speak to her. I Absolutely. Think, I think she'll do. remember me. Sure she will. Christy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Well, <laughs> Christy <laughs> turns around and looks at me. Now, mind you, I'm, I am I can't see great at a distance, but Christy looks at me kind of confused. Christy's the one you went to school with. No, that Christy Christy's is the, the mother. One, the mother of the, <clears throat> the mother. person you went to school with. Okay. You are changing the names to protect. Yeah, I'm changing the names to protect all those involved. Okay. And whenever I sit, then, then I looked, she looked at me, I was like, I to myself, I don't think that's Christy. That's Turns when, out it was Steve. That's, <laughs> that's she, how bad his eyesight she is. Said, and she, so, but she asked me. She looked at me. I said, Christy? Did you go back for seconds? The second time. Oh, I my God. I had to God. be sure. I had to be sure. <laughs> With a little, little, <laughs> he missed the layup and the free throws. <laughs> a little, little half-ass, I'm sure. That's maybe not who you are. <laughs> Christy, and then she said, she in the said, form of a question, she said, <laughs> she said, no, Misty, it was, it was close, but it was wrong, and I said, did it rhyme for real? Yeah, it, it, it sounded, that's why she looked at me, because she thought I was calling her, oh my God. and I said it just loud enough to where I could be embarrassed, but she could hear me. So she corrected you with the name, like, yes, Misty. You should have been like, that's what I said. And then I said, I'm so, because I thought, she, again, I'm in my vehicle and we're eight car lengths, so we're eight parking places away. 
So I don't think she would have been th- thinking I was fishing to come over there and, you know, try to snatch her plant she just bought or something. Or her Never sack know. of soil that she just her was going home. Sack of soil. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> he's as bad as you are. What a weird. <laughs> so so I said that when she said, she said Misty. I said, I'm sorry. I said I thought you were somebody's mom. I went to high school with, and she was like, It's okay. It's all right. So then I was like, I rolled my window up, and the first two people I thought of yeah. were you two. Yeah. I said. I said, I can't wait. I'm going to have to save this for the podcast and tell them that I did this. And maybe maybe that was kind of a lesson learned is what I'm trying to say. I can't believe you told her the whole story. Instead of just being like, oh, my bad, wrong person. You were just like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you were the mother of maybe the girl that I used to go to high school been, with. Oh, that's okay. Down at Dublin High School when it used to be around the corner. No, let me, let me, Shut let me, up. Let me, let me what back. year did you graduate, sir? <laughs> 90. Oh, and that's, well, I graduated in 87. Listen, that's you a think Dublin I'm that thing. old? No, <laughs> that's a Dublin thing right there. Is how you start a conversation with oh, two yeah. strangers just about nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's back Absolutely. up. I may not let's have said. I, I I may have just said I thought you were somebody else. I don't think I was so specific as to say I thought you were somebody. I think it's I, better. I, if I think I I think I just said I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. And she said that's okay. You know. And then I just drove out. And I was like, God, I don't even want to go down that way, but I got to to get out. I'm <laughs> 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 Put your shirt over your tag. I was, I was <laughs> driving by. Did I drop that? <laughs> it wasn't. It, it was embarrassing. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't gonna tell you that's gonna stop me though. No, I, I don't think anything's gonna stop you there. I, yeah, that won't. Legal charges probably wouldn't stop you at this point. You're just setting your ways, man. It's all right. Well, that reminds me of another story. Oh man, good. Good. We, we, were about, we were worried about. We were worried about. Worried about material. This tonight. one ain't. Gonna, this we one ain't gonna go. take long. So uh, Sydney, until we draw it out. Keep Sydney, going. Or, uh, Sydney and I are. At, uh, a local grocery store yesterday, and we just getting a couple of items. We got a buggy though, so we're pushing it through the store. And all of a sudden, I look up and I see someone that I know. Um, it, it's like for real this time. It's really, that I really know. Um, so, and I guess I could say her name. I guess I could. Um, you know, well, I'll just say it was somebody that I know that my son dates. Uh, this woman's daughter. I okay. can say, say, say that, can I? So, <laughs> this, all your like explanation, it's like space balls. Or it's like I'm his that, grandmother's I, sister. I did that on purpose. Second cousin. I did like, that on purpose. So you know, just, I see, I, saw, I see, I, t- t- I see I Tiff. Knew. I see Tiff. Sure. And I look up. She comes in, and I'm pushing the buggy. She always next to me, so I'm walking, and I hollered out real loud and threw my hand up. You know, trying to. I was doing it to be like an idiot. Tiff! Like that, and threw my hand up real big. Well, she didn't see me, so you know what that happened. So she came in, and she had gone to the right. And so I was like, okay, well, I, said, come on. I said, come on, it's a challenge now. And so I started going, and she picked up speed, like almost as if she thought I was coming behind her. She snatches a bag off in the produce section because she's going to get some produce. And so I, I hollered again. I mean, I could have walked up to her because she's over there picking out a cucumber or whatever it was. I could have walked up to her, but instead I hollered at her again. <laughs> Again, Tiff, and she turns around and looks, and then she comes over there, and we meet. You know, I give her a hug, and I said, "I said, girl, I said you fast. I said you come in. You were on." She said, "I'm on a mission. I'm trying to get you know this and this, and trying to get in and get out." I said, "Anyway, so I, I, I guess my point in telling that story is that I, I'm not doing any better. I still shout it out, you know, in the grocery store. This was after the Home Depot. This was yeah. This was just yesterday. This was on. This was how actually long you, on. How Father's long did you Day. stand there and talk to Tiff? Probably, I don't know, two minutes maybe. So she was two minutes beyond getting where she wanted to get. <laughs> All I heard was this nice lady wanted to get in yeah. and get out, and Derek wanted nothing to do no. with it. We finna mess that hey, up I'm right here, now. I'm, I'm here told, to help you not make that happen. I told Sydney when we were going behind her, I said, it almost feels like stalking now, doesn't it? Because <laughs> we I was like, dad. I was like, we got to get to Almost her. feels like, or is the literal well, definition because of y'all, Because y'all said that too, because y'all. Said that about me. I could just see your brother. She comes, oh, hey, Derek. Yeah, I'm kind of in a, you know, trying oh, you've been trying, walking fast. Trying yeah, to get out I'm here. trying to get in and out. Oh, really? What you got <laughs> going you on? What you in a hurry bucket? for? What's funny you know what is that ever even crossed my mind? <laughs> that she was in a hurry? Yep. She said it because we were in a hurry too. What you in a hurry for? What you got going on? <laughs> we're not crazy. To. You know, we in a little bit of a hurry too. You'll never, let me tell you what we're about to go do. <laughs> we're in a hurry too. I decided when I got here, I realized I left my stove on. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I got some. I got some letters in the mailbox. <laughs> They're going out in the morning. I really want to go back and check on them. 
you know. You got <laughs> this and there's stamps <laughs> and invitations in there. Got me a little bit Ooh. nervous, Tiff. I got to go back and go check on them, and then I'm going to come back. Run it a couple, three times. Yeah, guess what I did this morning? Did you mail a bill or did you pay it online? I did about five or six thank you notes from Sydney. I went out there this morning and put them in there. Did you shut the lid, drive down the street, turn around, come back, <laughs> make sure they were still in there? Listen, I can't believe he doesn't have like a TSA lock on this thing. Like, stop the postman one day and be like, listen, listen, I'm going to give you a key so you can get in there, but I'm going to start locking my mailbox. If in you're ever time. ill or needed vacation day, <laughs> let me know, and I will meet the new postmaster <laughs> over here <laughs> on like, my lunch If you're going to be out for a couple of days, I just won't mail anything. It'll yeah. be all right. Mm-hmm. It'll be all right. You Listen, Ed, I used to wonder – when I first started like coming over here and stuff, oh god, this whether, is gonna be good. Come whether on. y'all were related or not, man, but the more you both tell the stories, <laughs> y'all hundred percent share DNA. Yeah, no question. Oh, yeah. Every time you were talking about, so I just yelled out like this. All I could see was Brian doing the same damn thing all the time. Except at Home Depot, if it had been the wrong person, he'd have just kept going. He kept rolling with that. Hey, Misty, Misty, I heard about Tommy. Listen. I hate that, you know, but it's going to be all right. Let us know if we can do anything, okay? You have a good one, Misty. We'll talk to you. Have I ever told you all about what happened at Kroger one day? Probably not. Let's hear it. All right, so on 96. On? In Warner Robins. Okay. You know, they okay. sell, like, clothes and junk at that Kroger? Oh, yeah, bro. They got, like, boots and works. Where oh, is I, I, I know. Huh. Bless I know everything. Thank you. Second sneeze. Everything the today. Podcast. I'm just a one guy. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about I'm going to sneeze again. I'm just a one sneeze. No, I've sneezed it on that other episode. There. I had to have sneezed a bunch of times, but. Go ahead. I'm going to go back and check the evidence. Kroger 96. Kroger on 96. <laughs> this is back when I was in the program. Okay. So we're, we're coming home from work. It's me. Is that code for still on drugs? What do you mean? No, yeah, off. No, okay. Off. Okay. Freshly off. Freshly off. Okay. That's what we call it. Probably call not that supposed F-O. to be there. Okay. No, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. But now we, 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 we stopped to get gas. And there was, um, of course, I know I sat up front. Casey drove. We had a van full of guys. Was it there. non-ethanol gas? It was um, 87, I'm sure. We were trying to get this meal stuff. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. I'm going to move the mic back. You go ahead with your story. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, thank you. So, uh, Derek, give me a good name for a middle-aged woman. Gladys. Martha. Martha. I like Gladys, but for the sake of the story, it might be hard for me to get that word out of my mouth. That's as fine. I'm telling some Martha. That's fine. I'll never forget. Betty. My, maybe it was Betty. Maybe it was Betty. Betty's all right. We're, we're going to go, Betty. Sorry, I asked. Neutral pick. Neutral we're going to go, pick. Betty. That's fine. You take so, we come up. This lady is convinced that she knows me. And oh, God. I, I'm positive that she don't. Made probably one of the worst mistakes of her life. But I'm also dead certain that I'm not going to let her know that she does not. Want to play a little game? <laughs> <laughs> she got the right person. Yeah. So 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 better match on this one. I so promise. so Betty and I strike up a conversation. She's probably in her late fifties, early sixties. Okay. So about my age. We strike up a conversation. <laughs> we strike up a conversation, and she's telling me uh, it, it must have been around Christmas time. Um, I wish I could remember everything I said, but we strike up a conversation the first time I'm getting gas, and I'm like. Uh, Betty, how you been? You know, and she's like, aren't you? And she called me some name, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And uh, she's like, uh, I mean, dude. You just assume the identity of this person. Oh, I just, say, you know, was with it. With no it. idea who this person was to her, He'll how she felt out, about them. He'll figure it out. And so I'm like, I'm like, that's right, that's right. And I was like, I'm all, and she, I, I'm all, I'm, and she'll be like, Janet, Janet's boy. Yeah, you know, just, yeah. I was doing stuff like that. You know, I, you know, you just. Throw a little bit out there and let them fill in the blanks, you know. Yeah. And so she was hook, line, and sinker. So we were we were just discussing whatever. And so um, she told me that her and Bob will say, me and Bob having problems. And I was like, good God, I'm so sorry to hear that, Betty. What's Bob up to? She goes, he just, he just won't stop drinking. And I'm like, how many times <laughs> is he going to do this to you? <laughs> And like this is the first time we've ever met. This right? is serious. You're serious. No, he's one, told, this is the I have one hundred percent. This yeah. happened for some reason. I do one hundred percent. This happened. Yeah. So I, I'm like I'm like up. We're at like where you pay for the gas. 
and and nobody else can like hear this is going on. So I go back and get in the van, and I'm like, the next time we come here to get gas, afterwards. does she work there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. The next time we come back to get gas, and Betty's working, I'm gonna get her to come to the van, and we're gonna y'all are gonna die. This woman thinks she knows me. So like a week or two later, we need gas. So I'm like, Casey, swing through the Kroger. So we go through. He's pumping the gas. Betty is walking like in the parking lot, and I'm like, hey, Betty. And she comes back over. She goes, uh, Trevor, I think was my name. Maybe that was my name during this time. She was like, it may, I may not have been Trevor, but I think for some reason that popped my mind. She's I like, like Trevor. We'll hey, Trevor. Trevor. And I'm like, how are y'all? And she goes, um, uh, Bob's, Bob's, uh, me and Bob split up. And I'm like, I am so sorry to hear that. And I, I started telling her, I started telling oh, her. Oh, gosh. That, um, you're in now though you can't back out no. now that would be the worst you could do nah, like, you're in it to win it yeah, now it now was, you got to console and comfort crap I was in the deep end <laughs> yes I was out there no swimmies <laughs> nothing oh my not even a lifeguard on duty and so I'm like rocking it and everybody in the back of the van is dying laughing at me but they can't hear your conversation yeah they can hear oh, it I'm in the can. I'm in sitting in the van in the passenger seat Casey's out pumping the gas I probably got like seven or eight, you know, uh, what do you call them, uh, audience members out here listening to me carry on with Betty, who they all know. I don't know her, but she still to this day thinks that oh, I'm Trevor. And and I told her um, something along the lines of uh, I was having trouble at home too. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> no. True though, that was true. Well, I was like, I'm, I'm 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 having I'm having trouble at home too, um, you know. Tried tried to see the kids for uh, tried to see the kids during Christmas time and uh, uh, whatever made up some name uh, won't even let me see them and so I went over there and and I was trying not to laugh but I was laughing so I tried to take my anger as like I was getting like loud you know so I wouldn't laugh and I said something about uh, I went over there and I was like you're gonna let me see them kids and she said no I'm not and she did all that I said don't you point that finger gun at me. <laughs> It just got real out of hand. I think the police might have been called, but we got out of there in time because, you know, I'm in this rehab, and I had to get back <laughs> before they found out I was going. I mean, I went on this tangent with this lady, bro. And uh, so I hope Betty and Bob are all right. I do too. Listen, every, I'm sure I got to know. Why would you even tell the story if you hadn't got the conclusion? She worked, she worked at Kroger on 96, Derek. I don't go that far. <laughs> Well, you know how many counties he's got across to get there? At least two. Shoot, Dodge is going to be the closest thing. Hey, if she come to a Kroger in Dodge if they build one, we can try that one out. But we ain't going to hell, no. Nah. That's the last Alston thing County? I'll think about tonight. I wonder if Betty and Bob are still together. I, I, it didn't look good. It, did, it, didn't look good. it didn't look good. Listen, everybody everybody listening is probably thinking, like, oh, my gosh, what a crazy interaction and thing. This is an all-the-time occurrence with this man. All the time. I told you, I could – when we were working together, I could go and, like, eat lunch or, like, go hang out with him, like, once a month. That's all I could do. Unless we're going to the golf course. You know, maybe just us. That's it, one thing. It, it it You'll be happy to know it don't happen as much as it used to. Thank goodness. You got Look, and then. Aaron it, has settled me down. When we first started doing the podcast, remember when we, like, we would just go to get lunch at work, right? <laughs> we stopped. I, we could go inside and eat once a month. And that was it. Everything else had to be through the drive through then he started messing with folks in the drive-thru. And I'm just like, man, I'm just going to give you my card and my order, man. I'm not even going no more. I don't even want to be a part of it. I tell them thank you for their support for watching the podcast. And yeah. I, I just act like I knew they were watching. You make when, you th- when, y'all, when y'all say that, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the ones that y'all made. One of them, We yeah, did make one at uh, Captain D's. Yeah. 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 It's hard to be believe. That was after the first That was after the first episode. just seeing people episode. like taking it back, have no crazy. idea what to say. They're like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. You need a name you can trust. Call Buckeye Preferred Services. They are insured with over 35 years experience in custom tree felling, crown reduction, whole tree removal, as well as stump grinding and cleanup. They are cutting out your problems one limb at a time, serving the greater middle Georgia area and beyond. You can find their Facebook in the description and call them at 478-484-2178 or 478-278. Five five seven four. Saturday night, I got off work at five, and I was gonna take my baby somewhere nice. Or I mean, 
It's yeah. it to me different. You Thank really, you. Okay. Different. I was say, were you leaving Dublin? I did. <laughs> we did. We went to Thompson's Cove. Little hole. It's like Jack's on the River, about a half mile, fried half seafood. an hour away. Yeah. Yeah, fried seafood. And uh, we're at the table, and this this guy comes walking up to me. I have witnesses in studio that can tell you this is not a lie. He walks up to me and he stops at our table and he's looking down at me and he's looking like he's trying to figure out who I am. I look up at him and I, I'm pretty sure he said like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good, sir. He goes, aren't you my eye doctor? No, no, no. 100%. And I was like, good to see you. I guess I need to get you a new I prescription. Like, <laughs> you, might yeah. need, you might need to come back and see me there, sir. I was, I was like, I was like, Golly. well, if you can't tell I'm your eye doctor, you need to come back and see me on Tuesday. We got to get you back in there, Billy. <laughs> you didn't say I'm going to get Nancy to set up an appointment with you. What did we, you say? It was Wednesday at 430 work for you. I told him, I was, I was like, doctor, I was like, how you doing now? You know, like letting him think that I was his eye doctor, whom I didn't know the eye doctor's name, so I couldn't say that I was him. And 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 Aaron just knows where I'm going. She's like, his name's Brian. He's not no eye doctor. Cut it off. Cut it off. I cut it off. She off, busted man. it off. I was like, this was going to be I wanted gold. to see how far that would go. This was going to be Because so you bad. had an out because of the fact, yeah, I'm just messing with you because obviously you need to go back to see him because you thought I was him. You, you had an out there at the end. He was – Halfway thinking oh, I was still his eye doctor when he left. He was that's like, I don't stuff. know if you're messing with me or not. And I'm like, I'm not messing with you. I'm really him. And she's like, no, <laughs> he's really not. <laughs> you were saying you were? Didn't I continue to say that I was? Yeah, I kept kind of like alluding to the fact oh, that I may have been his eye doctor. Gosh. I can see Aaron just going like, nah, he's definitely not your eye doctor. And uh, Brian just being like, all right, man, we'll see you next week now. <laughs> get, with it, get up with Nancy. I should have just been like, call the office. Just call the office on Monday. <laughs> That is oh funny. my god! Yeah, and that's why that we really that's why we don't go out to eat anymore. But I didn't do anything. You really, you in that I case, I was you minding did. my business. Yeah, you really didn't. And he basically were, walked up to me and said, <laughs> "Free card to mess with me, Listen, sir. You want to use it now or next week? <laughs> you, we will give you a bonus point for not instigating it. Thank you. <laughs> but that's all it. you're getting. I deserve that. <laughs> you know, I deserve that. Oh, it would have been funny god. if he'd have bought y'all supper. <laughs> I was trying to like gear it that way, you That's know. That's where you were headed. Yeah, I was trying to like work it out to where we could. Uh, I tell you what, like I, my wallet's in the car there, Billy. Why don't you just pick come this by, up? Come out of office on Monday keep and I'll, I'll reimburse you. Keep the receipt. Just bring, bring the receipt to me. I thought you were closed on Monday. I'm going to be there doing some changes. You know, we got to do some some updating to the office. We're going to be there. Just come on in and see us. Got a shipment of contacts coming in Monday. I got to be there. A <laughs> shipment of contacts. So, you know, um, <laughs> last week, <laughs> seems like you need some, sir. Last week when we were here filming, we um, ordered DoorDash because I was getting off work. And so Aaron ordered DoorDash to be here for so that we can eat dinner before the show. And, uh, you know, that's great. So Friday, I get home from work like seven, and I'm just I'm tired, man. My brain's fried, and I'm kind of chilling in the bedroom. She's like, "What you want for dinner?" And I'm like, "Man, let's get some uh, some Dinos. Would be good." So we order some Dinos, and I'm hungry, and she's usually not very hungry, but she was hungry, so I'm like, "Man, this is gonna be really good." So I get get my pajamas on, man. We get like, and, you know, we we're ready for like some some good Netflix or whatever. Some good food in the bed. and We're just going to end out Friday that way. And so, I don't know, man, like 30 minutes passes, and she gets a notification from DoorDash that the order is on its way, and I'm like, where are they at? She goes, they're like uh, passing Stubbs Park, which is not very far from the house. And so maybe three to five minutes at the very most. And so I'm thinking to myself, they're fixing to be here. Well, like, in like 10 minutes pass. And no doorbell, no notification on the phone that our, our order has arrived. And she's she's doing some work from her phone. She's kind of like not focusing on the food like I was. And so I finally, I was like, babe, where's the food? Have you heard from DoorDash? And she said, I have it. And I said, it's, it's probably on the front porch. And so I get up, walk to our front porch, no food. So I don't know. that's weird. Maybe they left it at the carport door. So I go to the carport door. 
no food. And so I walk back in the bedroom, and I'm like, they done stole our food, man. Because, you know, remember we were talking about how that can happen? Yeah. And that's, that's my, where my head went, that, they, that they've taken the food. So I said, where's, where's the food? Like, look on the app. Where the food's at? And she, she pulled up that. They've dropped it off. And there's a picture. And our dinner is sitting there on this front porch. And I'm like, they done dropped it off at the dang neighbor's house. So I'm literally, like, putting my flip-flops on to walk, like, down the street, down the next couple of houses to try to see if I can identify our dinner. And then we look at each other about the same time, and she goes, that's Dave's house. It was here, bro. We didn't change the address from when we ordered from Wednesday night. So they we door dashed dinner. So they bought you dinner. I'm sorry I ate it. I <laughs> no, it. you did not either because we loaded up and came and got it. I can't believe that. The funniest thing is we were like, I was dogging the DoorDash people. Who's, who's front porch they leave that on? Like, how can you get confused on our address? Oh, God, it's at Dave's house. It's our fault. That is funny. That is pretty good. We, were, di- pretty good. we were dying. Like, I still don't think I've ever used DoorDash. We were dying. Kind of hurt my feelings. Y'all didn't tell me y'all was here. You were not. Well, they didn't okay. even. They just, I'm not sure <laughs> if Aaron out. stopped. <laughs> right. I'm gonna push them out. Gonna go run and get it real quick and hop back. I'm gonna in. cut the block. I'll be back to get you. Yeah, you better be ready. In a second. I will slow down to twenty. <laughs> like a like a break in an inner inner something. All right, all right. I just want to make sure. It was survive. so was funny speed. strolling across your front yard to scoop our DoorDash. That is funny. And then one of your neighbors is walking their dog out there in the street. I'm just like, they think we're robbing DoorDashes now. <laughs> oh, God. that's what it's come to. Yeah, that's times are tough. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Times are tough. Oh, so I got something. I don't know if y'all knew this or not. That uh, I just found out in the last. So I'll let me back up. So all of the cats that I've ever had have been indoor cats. How many is that, by the way? Let me get. Well, a I'm talking about through the quick. year. I'm talking about through the years. That's what I'm asking. Oh, I don't know. There's been several. Four, six, 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 three, four, five, probably about eight total. Okay. Okay. Um. So I've never had one that was outside. Strictly outside, I've never had one outside. You've had ones that outside that you've like stolen and kidnapped, but not like adopted. Got. Adopted, yeah. What, whatever you want to call it. Some, Did you know. he build a cage for it? Huh? Didn't, isn't there a cage outside? No, no, no. That was for the kids. Was, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for the she's... children of the stolen or no. adopted cat. Okay, so no, anyway. sure, 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 sure. Her name is Tuffy. So I decided, you know, I got to get her fixed, but I but she's somewhat feral, so. I can't just pick her up and put her into a thing. So anyway, I got her into a cage. Took her, and get, took her to get her fixed. Did y'all know that true story? That feral cats that stay outside all the time, if they trap them and they get them fixed, that they snip their ear. That is the that is the sign that shows this cat has been spayed or neutered. neutered. I did not know that outdoor cat. I didn't either. And I said, "What?" I said, "What is that for?" And they said, "That's." The symbol that a cat has been spayed or neutered, so at a distance you can look. If you get close enough to it, you can see the, their their ears. Kind of like snip. tagging marine wildlife so, or something. Basically, like that. yes. But I just a so bit I, worse. I, that's been she's been, she got fixed about two weeks ago. And so anyway, I googled it today because I was like, I was thinking, you know. So I looked it up, and sure enough, that's what it means. It says it causes them no harm when they Did have you it. Have question under, it? Uh-uh, because the the girl told me right, and I've been going there for crap twenty years, twenty plus years. <clears throat> so I had no reason to question it. She, and so what, what it is, and that's it. They just had a very, very little p- bit of their ear, and folks can Google and find that out. Brian may be doing that now. Um, All I can get in my head right now is like the the vet with like a hole punch or something. No, no, no. I like, mean, it, and it says I, I read it, and, and if people that if if people are in doubt about that or whatever, you know, do Google, do look it up. And I know everything you read is not true, but anyway, that's that's the yeah. But if a vet, common, I'm assuming it's going to yeah, be pretty yeah. much harmless and, <laughs> and, and, and they're they're under anesthesia, obviously, because they're you know they're, they're getting, getting fixed. They're getting fixed. So I found that pretty interesting, though. So that if you ever see, if you ever see a cat, you know, that's out and it's got its its ear clipped, then it's probably a feral cat. How much cat. are we talking? Not much at all. Not much at all. It tells you the dimension too, you know, on the on the. Uh, so like a noticeable, but but like not from afar. Not from afar, I would say. Which you know, my eyes aren't real good. Apparently, the guy at Thompson's Coves wasn't. I've got it. I've got it right here. If you need to do your eye exam, you come see me. I got some available appointments tomorrow and Wednesday. 
An ear tip is the universally recognized symbol of a cat who has been spayed or neutered and vaccinated. Ear tipping is a standard part of most trap neuter return programs, which is also known as TNR, because it's simply the best method to let anyone know at a glance the cat has gone through a TNR program. Used to, the cats in question would be branded or tattooed with a BB, which stands for Bob Barker, who was a <laughs> spokesperson for having he is now making sp- cats listen. and dogs <laughs> and spayed listen. and neutered. Thank you for Bob and all of his hard work for the ear tipping community, the BBP, which is the Bob Barker program, also known as cheap commissary items such as soap, <laughs> toothpaste, toothbrushes in your prison system in the state of Georgia. I'm very surprised he kept it going that long. Listen, as soon as he got to the end, and as soon as he said something about the way they used to do it, <laughs> immediate red flag. I was like, oh, this is crap, right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> but that was good, man. That was good. He kept it going for a Thanks. minute, dude. Thanks, going. man. That's good. Very creative. Good job. Thanks, oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Well, at least now we know most of what you said was true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris knew when it everything ended. up until he started lying. Chris knew when the truth ended. Yeah, like I said, and as soon the, as you said the way they used to do it, I was like, I don't know about this one. No, BB, <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> poor cat. Yeah, he said something about Brandon. <laughs> God. It's harmless. It don't hurt him at all. <sighs> one year, guys. That's hard to believe. Listen, I saw a TikTok the other day. This is my new TikTok. I saw my For You pages. It was this wonderful little kid, maybe like eight, seven, eight years old or something. And this teacher was just like, what would you do if you had $20,000? And this kid was just like, um, I think uh, I, I probably, I think I, I, I think I'll probably buy a Lamborghini. And as soon as he said it, it stitches with like this middle-aged guy. He's like, I think I'll probably not. <laughs> Twenty grand for a lamp? Are you dumb? That it just starts ripping this kid, and that has become oh, my new wow. favorite thing on TikTok. Maybe a Nissan Versa, kid. <laughs> a manual. Like, he's like, do you even know what cars cost? Apparently it's not. So funny, man. I've been dying. That's like a whole for you page now. It's like. Middle-aged people, adults, just making fun of children. Really? It's it's hilarious. Yeah. The yeah. next I, I've decided that the next time, speaking of cars, I have a a friend. A 300Z? Come test drive a car with me. I'm going to tell Skyline? them. I got you. I'll probably get either one of those three from you. Okay. A 300Z X, mm-hmm. a 350Z you can't get a Skyline. I don't even think which ones are legal in America right now. 32 and older? I don't know. My bad. I'm sorry. I lost it. Um, the next time a friend of mine comes to test drive a car, especially if they're, like, by themselves, I'm going to start carrying around, like, grocery sacks. you got a lot of grocery sacks up there, don't you? Mm-hmm. I need to borrow a few of them. I need to have a few of them. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to start carrying around one in my pocket at work and then when like someone rolls up someone that i know of course i wouldn't do this to a stranger and they want to take a test drive on a car i'm gonna say like that's cool and well we drive it off you know so i'm gonna drive it off and go down there to walk dairy where i always like turn around and like let them get out and look at the car whatever do a little walk around hey it's got tires that's cool um tires are nice yeah uh uh-huh and then let them drive it on I'm going to ride in the back behind you just to get the experience and let you see how much room is from his back here and let him get on the bypass and hit him from, <laughs> him from behind uh, with one of them groceries. No, bags. he's not. That is a joke. <laughs> he is not going to get onto the and bypass <laughs> and then shove it. And then no, no, no. But listen then. And then you like got him pinned up against the headrest. <laughs> Just rip the hole in the mouth. <gasps> See how safe this car is? Did you feel how the, how the lane departure warning system kept you between the lines? I really want to say the F word, but what the hell is wrong with you? What? I mean, I think it'll work. What is your... <laughs> Never mind. There's not a car on this earth that I would go to buy from you. Not one. Because I'll be the first one. 
He'll be like, oh, I finally got one. I, I know got, Chris will be all right with it. <laughs> I'm gonna when Aaron gets that call from me for working. Ducks on the pond. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, honey. Don't do it. The rooster has come home. <laughs> rooster has come to rest. Golly. No, what the? man. I wouldn't do that. I, what's I'm, cra- I mostly believe What's you. crazy I though is I thought believe. about it. Like, I wouldn't do it to a stranger. That'd just be weird. That'd be scary. No, because <laughs> doing it to a friend isn't weird at all. It's not It's not an issue at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Put a hole in the bag. Rip it with your fi- <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're both alive. Isn't that good? It's a great car. A great car. Most people are talking about like gas mileage and crap like that. And Brian's over here like, well, if you ever try to get mugged with a plastic bag, you're going to be you ever, all right. You're going to be just fine. Don't you? We just tried it. You ever got somebody in the back seat? Oh, yeah, I mean, I worry about you sometimes. I um, do too. I'm just you know? kidding, man. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I know. I know you're kidding. Um, I did see something the other day. It was just like um, it was talking about you watch these like TV shows about serial killers, and it was just like he likes to be alone. He never leaves his house. He doesn't really like people and has very few friends. And I'm like, oh my god, am I a serial killer? What are they talking about? You know what I'm saying? I had no idea. I'm behind. I better get to work. For all your professional and customized sawmilling services, contact Custom Sawmilling. They offer any product from low boy trailer flooring, countertops, bar tops, paneling, and flooring for your home. If you remove trees to build your future home, what better way to utilize those trees than making them into a product inside your home? Serving all of Middle Georgia, Custom Sawmilling is proudly veteran owned and operated. Custom Saw Milling is located at 1607 Caps Browning Road, Rents, Georgia. They can be reached at 478-279-3657. That's 478-279-3657. We did watch a movie last night that Derek starred in, and he doesn't even know it. It was just a guy who loved cats. Oh, okay. But it did remind us of you. That's funny. What's the name of the movie? Is it a sad guy? No, no, it's called. It's, sad guy. Uh, it's like it's like. Is it like the male version of the cat? No, 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 no. It was really good. It was called um, Hitman. It's called Hitman. It's like number one on Netflix right now. It was really good. <laughs> what? I must have missed that. The male version of the cat like, lady. I think so. The, and there wasn't a sad movie. <laughs> How is it a hitman movie and a guy that likes cats? Because he changed his he changed <coughs> he, he changed who he was. Don't tell everybody in case they want. No, to I'm it. not. I'm not. I'm not. It was it was really good though. It was good. The, you the best liking cats to being a hitman. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking at you. <laughs> like, that's how I got out of that that's, life. That's what I thought. Oh my god. We did watch um another one. Another one. Thursday, DJ we Khaled. might have started it Thursday night. Gatorade. It was uh, ca- called Molly's Game. Game. Oh, um, about the chess player. Nope. Skier. That's the Queen's Game. Poker. Um, Molly's Game. She is that up. is that the one with Mills, Will Smith and um? No, nah, this is new. Morgan Robbie. Maybe it's not. Yeah, that that one's uh. A different title. Oh, that's when she's running illegal gambling that's stuff right. in the in the hotels and junk and then builds right. a little empire. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, yeah. Kevin yeah. Costner's or that really, really good. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, really, really good movie. Yeah. We got there. It took me a little while. We it's a there. really good movie, man. Yeah, we got there. Molly's game. Um, I did blurt something out in our sales meeting this morning. I forgot to even tell her about this. Um, I'm trying to think if I can say this. While you're thinking, listen, I I went to Chile one day and I was just like, I'm really thinking about quitting my job and becoming a professional sports gambler. And she she dead serious looked at me and she was just like, that's an idea. Are you good at it? (laughs) No. No. I'm I'm terrible. Nobody is. (laughs) Yeah, nobody's good at sports gambling. You might be good for a second. (laughs) Yeah, she I mean, looked at me dead serious. Just like, yeah, I mean, we could do that. Are you good? Are you good at it? No, no absolutely not. Horrible. You'd be broke in a month. 
I'm going to pass. Yeah. Take the high road, as they say. You know, that's all right. Pass. That's all right. Uh, we're sitting about 42 minutes or so. I'm good. Uh, hey, 42 minutes. You know, we'll throw in a couple me. ads um, and do that kind of stuff. Um, we can go ahead and wrap it up here if y'all like. You know, what, we got, you know what? We got tip off in about 20 minutes. You know what used to give me a really bad sore throat when I was in high school? I'm, I, I'm going to take the high road as well. Yeah, What's up, Brian? I am too. When I would go around trying to sing like Tone Look, Chino was a man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I ain't messing around. <laughs> no Oscar Maya wiener. So, we you appreciate it. be sure it. that your girl is pure for the funky gold Medina. <laughs> I have such a... Uh, there you go. <laughs> I need some color set. How do I mute his mic specifically? We'll just cut that off. Um... Wow. <laughs> and we've lost them both. All right. So, listen, thank you so much for tuning in to episode 54. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. We, we definitely did. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, Buckeye Preferred Services and Custom Saw Mill. And as always, you can find the links to their web pages in the description of this video. Um, we still have a couple, few, maybe t shirts for sale Kelly, uh, my in cast various on. sizes. Well, that would uh, need if, a you want, if you want one of those, uh, we sure you do. You can reach out to us at coffee and ketchup PC at gmail.com. Um, they're going to spend the next few minutes trying to, to breathe again and just recover their breath. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Listen, everybody have a wonderful week. We appreciate you tuning in, and we will catch you all in the next one. Peace.